Hello and a very warm welcome to this exceptional magazine dedicated to Manitowoc's latest edition in its MDT range, the MDT 489. This is Manitowoc Europe's headquarters in Dardy, a city just outside Lyon in southern France. And we're here today to discover every single fantastic detail of this machine, as well as the men and women behind its development, from the design office to its construction, as well as the erection of the crane. So, without further ado, let's start by seeing how this machine is assembled. For me, it's a real pleasure to follow this new project and to work on the erection of this machine. It's quick and easy to erect. I have been working for 30 years at Manitowoc. As a technician, we see and benefit of the whole evolution of this type of crane. It's a 400 ton machine that can be erected like a small machine. I'm here in the heart of Manitowoc Europe headquarters where everything is decided and where the firm's engineers draw up and devise Potan products. Let's talk now to the man responsible for this latest crane to find out how it came to life. Francois Rotar, you've been a product manager at Manitowoc. Let me start at the beginning. Why the need for this crane? The starting point, as always, at Manitowoc is the voice of customers. Taking into account our customers' needs, their expectation for new products or features, and their feedback on our machines. We identify the need to complement our MDT range to fill the gap between our famous MDT-389 and our MDT-569. US customers were enthusiastic about it, as this segment is very popular on this market. So what makes this crane different from others? This crane inherits the concept of our MDT-569 and our MDT-809s, our large topless cranes range. So transportability, ease of erections, and performances were the genesis of this crane. Top of this, this crane will benefit from our control commands, called CCS, and will be available with our new high performance winch, the 110 HPL. Speaking about performances, this crane will be offered in 20 ton and 25 ton max loads, and will offer 3.2 ton at 80 meters. Well, well, thank you for that revealing look into the new crane's construction. Well, let's go to Mulan now, one of the production sites of the GME Potan Ranch, to see how all the elements are manufactured. Welcome to the Manito Mulan production site. This factory specializes in the production of tower cranes in the MDT, MD, and MR ranges. The Moulin side produces cranes with large lifting capacities, including the new large MDT models, MDT 809, used in the reconstruction of Notre Dame de Paris Cathedral, MDT 569, and now the new MDT 489. 
For several years now, we have been implementing the Manitalk way, which is a philosophy of continuous improvement in all aspects of production. This consists in the deployment of tools and methods that provide our people with the best working conditions in terms of safety and the organization of their workstations, but also to improve our production processes while increasing the quality of our products. We are also continuing our strategy of automation and robotization, which started on our mass production line and continues with the arrival of a tube cutting machine dedicated to the production of jibs. This strategy allows us to be more efficient, to increase our flexibility towards our customer who request shorter lead time, and to have a large capacity in terms of volumes and increase volumes when needed. Now let's dig a bit deeper now into the project. We can speak to Adrian Guru, who's responsible for its coordination, planning and preparation. Adrian, thanks. Thanks for joining me here on set. Um, tell me, how do you go about organizing all these different elements? The development of this crane was particularly dynamic and efficient. It involved around 20 people working in project teams and on production sites spread over several countries. There were four main stages, feasibility, development, manufacturing, and prototype validation. The different departments involved, engineering, manufacturing, purchasing, aftermarket, quality, marketing, were perfectly in tune with a common goal to transform customer expectations into a finished product. Yeah. And how do you combine then all those elements with the design? In addition to its normal use, uh, the different stages of the crane's life, assembly, transport, maintenance, were in integral parts of the input data for the development of this new machine. Thus, always ensuring safety of our customer at all times. Every detail counted and communication was essential. Personally, I really enjoy working on this project. Well, it's always a pleasure to meet somebody who loves their work. Adrian, thanks for joining me on this. Thank you. After manufacturing the prototype MDT-489, all the crane components are subjected to a series of tests to ensure the performance, reliability and quality of Manitowoc products. Bertrand Melinon is the man in charge of the process. Welcome to our GME Product Verification Center, close to our Moulin factory. Our team is composed of about 10 people with various technical skills, whose main missions are as follows. Validate new tower crane products and subcomponents like winches, masts before their mass production in factories, and contribute to the maintenance and improvement of the current product range. The tests carried out on our site allow us, among other things, to correlate by practice the theoretical calculation models of the design team, but also to ensure the reliability of our products. All our products are tested in multiple configurations, on test bench, for example, for the endurance test, or the verification of the fatigue strength of the mechanical components, or on complete trains. Uh, for example, on the NDT-489, we ensure the standard conformity, direction and maintenance ergonomic validation, the verification of the safety function, the functional validation of the components, like control system, mechanism, the driving tests, the vibration analysis and acoustic homologation of the mechanism. Well, now we've had a look at the entire process of design manufacture, as well as some of the tests carried out on the crane. Let's go over to Shady Grove in the United States to talk about the commercialization of the MDT-489. Joining us live is sales director, Steve Johnson. Steve, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Well, I'm fine, thanks. Steve, this uh, product is intended mainly for the US market. What more can you tell us about it? The 400 class crane is a staple of tower crane rental fleets in the US. For this reason, our customers actively participated in the voice of customer done for this product. We wanted to make sure that our customers were going to get the crane they wanted and needed. As a result, our customers are anxiously awaiting the introduction of this crane, and we've already received orders for the MDT-489. 
We're looking forward to seeing the first machines arrive in the U.S. in the second half of 2021. The MDT range of cranes is done really well in the U.S. and we are looking forward to adding the MDT 489 to that successful list of cranes. Steve, thanks for joining us. Well, that brings us to the end of our presentation of the MDT 489. But before we go, we'll leave the last word to Thibaut Le Benere, who's VP Product Management here at Manitowoc Europe. Thibaut, uh, you must be quite excited, I imagine, all the hard work that's gone into bringing you to this point. Yeah. The launch of a new product is uh, always a very special moment for the company. It's the culmination of hard work um, and where both internal and external resources uh, were deeply involved. Organizing projects, the teams uh, were focused on targets which were simple but ambitious. Innovation, compliance to the product specification, respect of the timelines and costs without any compromise on quality. When all steps are achieved, then the product launch can take place. This success is uh, the reward for the whole team and uh, accompanies the pride of seeing our equipment all over the world, uh, constructing buildings and infrastructure for future generations. Well, Thibaut, thank you for giving us that valuable insight into this crucial launch of the MDT-489. Well, that brings us to the end of the program. We've tried to share all the secrets of the MDT 489, and we hope you've been convinced of its qualities as well as its reliability. Thanks for joining us. We leave you with this final look at this fantastic new crane. Goodbye.